I, I think there's just an incredible number of opportunities throughout the industry. When it comes to intellectual property, I think products are a great space to be in. When you're trying to delight a patient, it starts with the recipe. It starts with your ingredients and the care and the research and the innovation that goes into that. That's first and foremost. But we also need to recognize that this has been a market that has been illegal for a long time. And for the first time, patients have available to them consistently safe, healthy, and effective choices. And as a producer, we have to understand that patient preferences are emerging as well. So in this exciting space, having multiple locations where every single day we're touching hundreds, if not thousands of patients, we see those emerging preferences. And that's what I'm most excited about from an IP perspective in the cannabis industry. In Massachusetts, where we'll have three licenses, three locations, it's going from a medical only to medical and adult use. And for us, it's not just about the recreational user. It's recognizing that some patients did not want to avail themselves for a variety of reasons of the medical market because of the rules and the restrictions there. So for us, first and foremost, allowing adult use cannabis means further expanding patient access. For those recreational users, it's also exciting because we will be able to provide to them a safer, a lab tested alternative to some of the other substances that are more damaging to their body and, and to society. Um, I think Massachusetts is also particularly exci exciting because they're putting social justice at the forefront of how they do their licensing. And they're making changes to allow other actors from communities co of color that have been ravaged by the war on drugs to also participate in this marketplace. The perspectives in the cannabis industry that I think need uh, a louder voice, a more prominent soapbox, are the voices of the folks who need to be served by the medical cannabis industry, the patients. Another segment that really needs to be amplified are those entrepreneurs from communities of color. These are communities that have been ravaged disproportionately by cannabis prohibition, and we cannot leave them on the outside. Changing policies, having networking events, making sure that those entrepreneurs and those aspiring entrepreneurs have access to the investors, have access to the understanding of the regulations. That's absolutely paramount if we want an industry that's gonna succeed in the long term. Because this industry is not gonna to succeed to its full potential. We will not benefit patients to the maximum extent possible if we don't bring our entire society along. What we're seeing out there in terms of sharing amongst operators is a broader realization that we're all in this for the same positive reasons. We're in this, yes, to build our businesses and to be successful and to put bread on the table for all of our employees. But we also recognize that we're in this to serve patients. We're in this to be part of a sea change in cannabis policy. To achieve all of those goals, it's less about strict competition and more about what I like to call co-opetition. This is gonna be a big pie. And if we recognize that there's far more shared interest among operators and shared interest between the operators and the regulators and the patients, we're gonna be able to create a lot more good, not just financial results, but a lot more societal good together than opposed to each other. For patients, it's important to understand that this is an alternative. This is a choice. Companies like Temescal Wellness are here to help you through that choice. If a patient or a prospective patient were to consult with a registered provider, such as a physician, they should have that conversation with that physician. But both the physician and the patient should rest assured that when that patient comes to us, we're here to continue that conversation. Not to disintermediate it, not to take it over, but to supplement that conversation. We recognize that some providers today want to learn more about cannabis. Five or 10 years from now, the role of traditional healthcare providers, physicians and nurses might be, they might be so educated that they may be able to give prospective medical cannabis patients all the information they need. But we recognize today that patients and providers both are coming up a steep learning curve. We've come up a lot of that learning curve. We also recognize that with this plant, medical cannabis, there's a lot that we don't know relative to what we do know today. So we are all on this journey 
of learning more about this plant and encouraging research. And we are here, Temesco Wellness is here both for patients and providers to help fill those gaps. Mm -hmm.